In this tutorial, we're going to learn to work with question groups in Articulate QuizMaker 360. So what we have here is our practice groups quiz. And I created a bunch of just regular questions. And you, you'll notice here that some of the questions I titled so that we can quickly identify them. And you can follow along in the practice files if you like. One of the first things that we'll focus on is the fact that you can group questions. So by default, you're going to have question group one and all your questions will be in there. In this case, you can see I created a group of questions here and I called it digestive system. And I'm going to collapse that. And then I created another group called respiratory system. And then I put some slides in there as well. Now if you want to create a new group, all you have to do is come up to question group. Click on that. And then you'll see a question group three. If you double click in there, you can retitle it. And let's just say the nervous system is the other one that we're going to ask a bunch of questions about. And now you have a group and you can add some questions in there if you like. We're not going to worry about that for now. So you can see if I open these up, I've got some multiple choice questions. In my respiratory group, I've got some additional multiple choice questions. Now let's look at what we can do with the groups. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is up here we have a group section. And one of the things we can do is called randomize group. So I can select my group. And right now if I were to preview this quiz, I would go through the questions in sequential order. So it would be this one, this one, this one, this one, and go uh, through all the questions. Um, let's say I want to randomize that, randomize these though. So I'm just going to click on randomize group. And you'll notice that it's going to randomize all the questions. So the user takes the quiz and as they go through it, they'll get all 10 of these questions and then all these other questions. Uh, but those are going to be randomized. So they're not going to be in this sequence. Uh, that's fine. Uh, sometimes though you need do need to have them in a sequence. For example, this one that says this is my top question. I might want to randomize the quiz questions, but I always need this one to be asked first. So I'm going to lock this question. And the way you do that is select the question. And you can come up to the lock question option. And you can see uh, you can lock questions uh, to each other or you can lock questions to the group. So we're going to lock this to the top of the group. And what that means is uh, it's going to randomize the questions, but that one on top will always be asked first. And then the rest of those will be random. I can do the same thing for bottom questions. So let's say this question here needs to be at the end. So it's going to randomize them, but I always need to ask this one at the end. So I can ask this question and I'm going to select it. And then I'm just going to lock that to the bottom of the group. And now you can see it's down here at the bottom. So we've got the top choice and then we've got our bottom question. Now sometimes you randomize questions and you may have like a part A and a part B to the question. So the first one might be, you know, who is the first president of the country? And then the second question might be a follow-up question. Uh, what is a significant piece of legislation during that president's term? Right? So you want to ask those questions together. So uh, you can lock those as well. So let's say this one right here always needs to be locked to this question. So we're going to do that. We're going to come up here and lock it. And we're just going to lock it to the question above. And now you see the little lock icon. And that lets me know that these are randomized. But because these are locked, this will be asked first because it's locked to the top of the group. And when this one's asked, this one is always going to be asked. So these will be asked in tandem. And then this one here is going to be at the bottom. So that will always be asked last. And then the rest of these here will be randomized. Now I can also choose how many questions I want to ask. So for example, I might have 100 questions in here, but I really only want to ask 10 questions. So I can set it to only include 10 questions. In this case, we're just going to include five questions. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say I only want to ask five questions. And the way that's going to work is this is randomized. It's going to include five questions. But because we locked them, this is always going to be number one. This is going to be number two. This will be number five. So those remaining two questions are going to be pooled from these random questions here. And then I could do the same thing down here. So we're going to go here. This is multiple choice question. I just colorized them so it's easy to see. This is going to be the bottom of group two. So I'm going to take this and we're going to randomize. We're going to lock, randomize this group and we're going to lock this one here at the bottom of the group. So when we preview this, we're going to see a whole list of questions but we'll see the way they're locked. So what we should see 
is five questions, but top and two, and then these random ones, and then this should be number five, and then we should see um, a randomization of four, and then this should be um, down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and preview that and see if that's what we get. All right, so if we look at our question list, we can see this is our top question. This is our second one that's locked to that. Then you can see we just have some random ones. These are our group two questions, and I must not have locked that. So let's go ahead and see what happened. And then this is our bottom one. So let's go ahead and see I must not have locked it. And sure enough, I forgot to lock this. So let's come back over here and let's lock this to the bottom of the group. So now what we should see, and let's say on this one, we're gonna go ahead and make that only include two questions. So we should see one random question and then the bottom. So let's go ahead and preview this and see if that's correct. All right, so if we look at our question list, we can say this is my top question. This should be number two. Then we have two random questions, and then we have the locked at the bottom of group one. Then we've got two random questions, but one of them's locked, so we've got this locked at the bottom of group two. So we can see it's pulling in all the questions from the different groups, and it's working the way we lock them. So you have a lot of flexibility when you're working with question groups. Uh, that's basically it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the community. So just jump in there and we'll be there to help you. And then be sure to watch the other tutorials to learn more about Quizmaker.